In the heat of the Vietnam War, a desperate United States needed more troops to fight a seemingly endless conflict. But instead of sending well-trained, well-prepared men to the front lines, the government made a shocking decision. They recruited men who weren't fit to serve. This is the dark history of McNamara's misfits. In the 1960s, Robert McNamara was the U.S. Secretary of Defense. Known for his intelligence and efficiency, McNamara was tasked with managing America's involvement in the Vietnam War. But he wasn't just fighting a war abroad, he also had a domestic agenda. Amid growing pressure to increase troop numbers and reduce poverty at home, McNamara introduced Project 100,000 in 1966. The plan promised opportunities for disadvantaged young men, providing them with training, education, and a path to a better life. Project 100,000 aimed to recruit men who had previously been rejected by the military, those with low IQs, poor educational backgrounds, and sometimes physical or mental disabilities. These men were labeled New Standards Men. McNamara believed that with training, they could contribute to the war effort, just like any other soldier. But reality turned out to be much darker than the promise. Many of these men, who became known as McNamara's misfits, lacked the physical and mental capacity to handle the intense demands of combat. Many couldn't even read or write. Some didn't fully understand the dangers they faced. Yet, instead of receiving the help and support they needed, they were sent straight to the front lines of Vietnam. Once in Vietnam, McNamara's misfits faced hell on earth. Poorly trained and ill-prepared, they were often placed in high-risk combat zones, where their survival depended on quick thinking, mental clarity, and physical fitness things many of these men simply didn't have. Their casualty rates were disproportionately high. They were dying at rates that far exceeded their better trained counterparts. For many Vietnam veterans, the sight of these men in combat was heartbreaking. One veteran recalled, they couldn't even read a map, much less understand what was going on around them. It felt like they were being sent to die. Others described them as cannon fodder, men who were treated as expendable, in a war that was becoming increasingly unpopular back home. McNamara defended Project 100,000, claiming that it was offering social mobility and helping disadvantaged men escape poverty. But as the war dragged on, it became clear that the project was not achieving its goals. Instead of becoming skilled soldiers, many of these men became casualties, both physically and mentally. Even after the war, the men who survived often returned home with deep trauma finding themselves abandoned by the same government that had sent them to fight. The legacy of McNamara's misfits is a tragic one. While the U.S. military was struggling to meet its recruitment goals, it sacrificed the lives of men who never should have been sent into combat. The very people Project 100,000 was supposed to help were left to suffer the consequences of a misguided experiment. As the war came to an end, McNamara's misfits became a symbol of the broader failures of U.S. leadership during Vietnam. The controversy surrounding Project 100,000 was just one chapter in McNamara's complicated legacy. A legacy filled with technological innovations, but also marred by human suffering. Yet, despite the project's failure, there has been little acknowledgement of the harm it caused. Many of the men who survived McNamara's misfits returned home to find their sacrifices had been forgotten. The story of McNamara's misfits serves as a sobering reminder that in war, the most vulnerable often pay the highest price. As we look back on the Vietnam War, it's important to remember those who were sent to fight, not because they were ready, but because they were desperate. May their stories remind us of the costs of war and the responsibility of those who lead. Thank you for watching. If you found this story important, please like, comment, and subscribe for more deep dives into forgotten histories. And remember, every soldier's story matters.